I want to ask you about some of those because the trade issue actually fits in with a whole bunch of changes. Over the last decade, she shifted her position on same-sex marriage, on immigration, on NAFTA, on the Iraq war, on Cuba policy, on criminal justice reform, just a, just a few that she's done recently. These all, and they're all to the left, all to the progressive side of things. How do, should progressives believe these are changes of conviction and not simply changes of convenience because the Democratic Chuck, electorate has changed? I, I don't think there's anybody who's been more consistent in their entire career from the day she left uh, law school, went to work for the Children's Defense Fund, from her work uh, in Arkansas to First Lady of the United States. She's fought for children, for families. Uh, she's made her uh, uh, priorities clear, her values clear. Uh, you know, times change. A, a, a decade ago, I think a lot of people had a different view uh, on uh, on marriage equality. Today, the, the, the country has shifted. She's at the forefront of saying that that is a right that every American should have. She's gone further and said we need to protect of uh, the LGBT community uh, in the workplace. So I think uh, circumstances change. This isn't 1992. It's not 2008. It's uh, 2015. Right. And she'll take positions that are consistent with a long-term, uh, long-time uh, set of values that have made her a progressive in the best sense of the word, fighting for working families, fighting for children, uh, fighting for women uh, across this country and right. across the world.